My name is Sandy and I am a people pleaser in recovery. <laughs> and if you're a people pleaser like me, you know that involves a lot of apologizing for the silliest things like the weather or for someone else's behavior. Yes, I have apologized to people who bumped into me, people who got hurt without any kind of interference on my part, and even waiters who got my order completely wrong. And then I stopped putting other people's feelings over mine and decided to act accordingly. So here are the things I learned not to apologize for ever. Now, to be clear, I think that apologizing for something you did wrong and that hurt someone else is one of the bravest, most respectful things you can do. But that is not what we're talking about here. We are talking about things you should own up to and never apologize for, like removing someone toxic from your life, you know, a friend, a lover, even a family member, someone who constantly disrespects you or that just makes you feel like crap, or for being yourself, or feeling how you feel for that matter. Don't let people convince you that what you're feeling isn't valid or worthy. It's how you feel, it's who you are, and that's enough. Never, ever apologize for your imperfections. You know, in fact, I'm not sure how comfortable I feel calling them imperfections. The traits that are yours, no matter how other people regard them, are what make you unique. So embrace them. Do not apologize for them. You should also never, ever apologize for something you're not sorry for. You know, no matter how much better it will make things between yourself and other people. If you're not sorry, you're not sorry. Own it. For saying no. No is a complete sentence is one of my favorite quotes. And if you've ever watched any of my videos before, you know that I tell you guys to say no a lot. Saying no means putting yourself first. Also, something you should never apologize for. It's not selfish, it's self-care and self-respect. And don't let other people tell you otherwise. Now, speaking of self-care, never apologize for taking some me time. You know, that's not a privilege, that's necessity. It's like you needed to apologize for eating or breathing. It doesn't make sense, does it? Now, I know this one's tricky. Often people who love us think they know what's best for us. So we end up apologizing for following our dreams or just making our own life decisions. Don't. It is your life. You deal with the consequences or reap the rewards for your own decisions. So there's nothing to apologize for. On that note, never, ever apologize for your priorities. They're not meant to make anyone feel bad. They are meant to be good for you. And if someone cares about you, they will respect that. Also, don't apologize for your failures. You know, failing means you're actually doing something. It's how you learn and get closer to where you want to be in life. So there's nothing to apologize for. You are trying, you are learning, and you are growing. So don't apologize. Now, this next one is also something I've struggled with a lot over the years, but now I know better, you know, even if it's still hard to do. Never apologize for telling the truth. There's nothing wrong with being honest or respecting someone enough to tell them hard, sometimes painful truths. You know, there's no mistake in that, so don't apologize. Also, never apologize for asking questions or not knowing the answers while we're at it. There's nothing wrong with wanting to learn, you know, with wanting clarity on whatever issue. It's also a great learning opportunity for other people around you, you know. How many times did you want to ask something but didn't because you didn't want to sound stupid? How many times were you humiliated for not knowing an answer to a question? You are not perfect and you don't have to be. Admitting you don't know something shows strength and honesty and humility, so there's nothing to apologize for. Also, never, ever apologize for dancing badly. <laughs> Quite honestly, I don't really believe there's such a thing as dancing badly, you know. You can move your body any way you want. And if it makes you feel happy and light and giddy, how can that be wrong? 